here's a description of some of the blood models that we're going to be walking through. And so as we take a look at some of these, these are just a nice representation of the different types of blood cells that we have. We have a total of seven, uh, specifically there's an eighth one, but that's just a different state of one. But let's talk about this one first. This is just a simple red blood cell or erythrocytes. Main goal, of course, essentially is just a bag of hemoglobin carrying oxygen. But the next sections are essentially our leukocytes. And all our leukocytes, as you can see here, um, we can divide them into two major categories, the granulocytes, these that have granules, and the agranulocytes. The granulocytes are divided into three different ones that, depending on their stain kind of disposition, uh, we call them the neutrophil, the eosinophil, and the basophil. Eosin, because it likes Eosin, which is a red type of dye, acidic type of dye. Basophil, because it's like a basic type of dye, it stains in purple. Uh, and then neutrophil, because they, they really don't have the, you could see that they should have had these large granules, but they don't stain, so they don't, they don't like any dye, or they remain clear. So, uh, as we can see, erythrocyte, red blood cell, carries hemoglobin. Neutrophils are one of the most numerous white blood cells. They just take care of bacterial flexions. While eosinophils take care of <clears throat> uh, some parasitic infections. And then our basophils essentially turn to mast cells that help us with our allergic reactions and secrete heparin here. The other two are the granulocytes. And let's kind of remove this one a little bit farther back because this one will become, this is an immature uh, monocyte. And these are the two, a lymphocyte, which really is just all of just one nucleus. And the other one is a monocyte. I always remember mono because it makes a moon-shaped nucleus. Very, very large in comparison to the lymphocyte, which is about the same size as a red blood cell. Uh, what these guys do is lymphocytes are the ones that produce our antibodies, so that's why they need as much nucleus as possible. Uh, comparative to the monocyte, these will grow up to become our big phagocytes, uh, macrophages essentially. They can be fixed or wandering, whatever like that, but they'll go to consume bacteria. This is just an immature one. Um, you can see this one will grow up into that one. And then lastly is our thrombocyte, which is uh, those pinches off of a megakaryocyte, and we just use them for clotting. What these strands are, are just strands of fibrin, which are part of the plasma that become insoluble once fibrinogen changes the fibrin. So let's quick review. Erythrocyte carries hemoglobin and oxygen. Granulocytes, one, two, three. Neutrophil, which does bacterial infections. Eosinophil does parasitic infections. Basophil does inflammation and uh, secretes heparin. And then we have the two agranulocytes, which is the lymphocytes that produce antibodies. And then the monocytes, which become macrophages or phagocytes. And then lastly, our thrombocytes or platelets that will allow us to clot with the strands of fibrins attached.